is Damian McNamara, Global Medical News Network. And with me is Dr. Joseph Fowler, who's at the University of Louisville in Kentucky and who's also the president of the North American Contact Dermatitis Group. Thank you for speaking with me. You're welcome. We're here at the American Academy of Dermatology annual meeting. And one of the things you're addressing here is how the field of contact dermatitis is evolving. There's always new studies coming out. There's always new science. And one of the more interesting reports that have come out in the last year or so are reports of this so-called sofa dermatitis or this allergy to particular furniture. And could you tell me more about that and why it's important? It really is interesting and important, Damien. Um, the, the first reports came from Finland uh, in late 2007 or early 2008. Uh, and uh, there were just a few scattered cases of individuals who had bought furniture. Uh, it turns out that it seems that most of this furniture comes from China. Uh, they, they had bought the furniture, they had brought it home, sat on it, and within a week or two started developing uh, some rashes. And, and of course the first case nobody recognized, and after four or five of these came in to several uh, Finnish dermatologists, they sort of thought, hey, something's going on here. Well, uh, after that, very rapidly over the last couple of years, there have been many reports now from Scandinavia, Finland, Sweden, from the United Kingdom, and, and, it's, it, and now more and more reports are coming from other countries in Europe. What it all traces back to, and it was some great detective work by these dermatologists, uh, uh, it, it traces back to a chemical called dimethyl fumarate, or DMF. Uh, and this chemical is, is a, a mold inhibitor, so it was placed in shipping containers with this furniture, actually apparently placed in the furniture in little packets, little sachets or packets or little envelopes, uh, and it's very volatile, so it would evaporate and permeate the furniture and it would inhibit mold so that, of course, the product was shipped and it, it wasn't damaged in shipment. Um, that, that chemical then permeated the fabric, stayed in the fabric, and it turns out that it's an excellent allergen. And so when people would sit on the fabric, even at very tiny concentrations, they develop dermatitis. Okay, now today most of the reports have been in Europe because that's where the, the detective work was done. But uh, how important is this to American, you know, U.S. dermatologists to know about this and look for it? Well, I, we obviously have to be aware. I'm sure that there are cases in the United States. Uh, I've seen one case myself, and in fact, uh, another thing that, that we need to keep in mind is that now there are a lot of reports from shoes and clothing as well. Not as many in fur as in furniture, but from shoes and clothing there may be a hundred reports or so from Europe. So um, any of those fabrics then, uh, that uh, shoes, clothing, furniture uh, that have come from Chinese manufacturers, I guess potentially could be problematic. Um, it probably has been somewhat unrecognized in the United States up to now or until the last, say, six months or a year until these reports came out. There have been a few cases reported in Canada. I'm not aware of cases actually reported in the United States, but I'm sure we've all seen some. Uh, as I say, I've seen one of these cases. Um, and, but I think it's, it, it's very important for us in America to be aware because if, if we haven't seen them yet, it's very possible that we will see those uh, you know, coming into our offices. This has been Damian McMurray, Global Medical News Network.